back and ready for our fourth battle of the afternoon. Mohammed Adam taking on Cade Smith. Both very good young grapplers, we believe. Yeah, two very decorated uh, grapplers. Southpaw versus Orthodox. I mean, you wouldn't think it with the tie shots that uh, that Cade's come out wearing, but you can definitely do a bit on the ground. Mullen, Mullen Brothers in Cade's corner. So you can expect oh, nice. very, very good all-round MMA game from that anyway. Yeah, very well-timed double leg shoot there from Mohamed. Let's get his man down against the cage here and get his back on the mat. Yeah, but that's calm and composed as Cade. It's like he's trying to push that drag over for that neck. He's not, he's not being... He's not doing too much wrong here, he's just trying to work his way back to the cage, now he may use that cage to get back up, and he is doing with the hips there. He's trying to post up a little bit his cage there, but he's been smothered by Mohamed. Yeah, Mohamed did well to cross that, cross his uh, arm across the neck, to stop him sort of turning, in, turning away from him, and getting any momentum on that cage. He's now in half guard, again he's going to try and pass the side control, which he has done. He's going for a back take now, potentially into the mount. Go for an arm triangle yeah, he's got arm tri the arm triangle is... It's on, but he's actually harder to finish from the mount position. Yeah, he needs to step, step off. over yeah, to his uh, right-hand side if he can. Easier said than done, though, with a cage in the way. And this is where K. Smith can use his leg to block that if he does try to step over. The referee, the thumbs up there that Cade's OK. Yeah, the more he pushes away, he's trying to... He's got the, the hook under the leg and he's out of there. He needs to watch the triangle, though. Yeah, that triangle's sort of creeping up and he's he's got that half, half the half triangle is on he's gone to the he's actually gone to the inverted he's got the, the triangles in there it seems yeah he went he, so he went to the invert which is he's what i hooking under the leg but this might just be saved by the bell he was trying to push his head out his cage yeah he's doing a good job of just pushing on that leg and stepping and over out of there just in time for the end of the first stanza elite junior grapple in this very very good first round here from mohammed and cade Great awareness in, uh, and great intelligence throughout the entire first round there. Yeah, that was, again, like you say, it was a uh, very, very good awareness throughout. And the thing was with, uh, with Kate Smith there, he, didn't, he looked like he was in dangerous positions, but didn't look in any danger because of the way he was dealing with it. Um, that being said, Mohamed Adam wrestling press there was slightly ahead of Cade and was able to once he got him down, sort of passed through to a couple of different transitions from side control into the mount, and then obviously had that triangle once it got turned as well. But it was very, very good positional awareness from both young fighters here. Yeah, Mohamed will maybe a little bit of a, a mind, mind games here, jumping up and down, looking, or trying to um, insist that he's a fresher of the two here. But Cade's ready to come straight back out here, hands up already. Yeah, but it's, it's nice to see him both coming up with the, with the hands out, or oh, the hands up as well, nice and high. Getting used to that's when they start to have the headshots in years to come. Mohammed in the blue tape with the with the shirt on, I should yeah. say, and, and Cade with the new tie gloves. Oh, just missed a big tape there. Yeah, he goes for that back take. take down very well to get hold of the back. Yeah, what, what a... What Mohamed Adam did well there, though, was he controlled the hip so he wouldn't allow the back tape. But now he's going to watch the inverted triangle. I can't see right if, the, if the arm's on it. He, he could get that. Switched managed it. to escape here, but an arm is still in. So he does have to watch out here, does Mohamed? Yeah, he really does, because the arm is in. But he's now trapped that bottom leg, so he should be OK. As long as he sits his hips nice and low, he's going to struggle. There we go, good work from Mohamed Adam there and Cade Smith. Now back on that bottom, but very dangerous from the bottom, as we've seen. Yeah, it's a testament to the accolades that they both have as strong junior grapplers. This is the problem with wearing, wearing the shin guards as well. It does make it slightly harder to get yeah. that, that triangle on, and that triangle finish. He's trying to pull him in. Okay, just keeping nice and... Nice and sort of still with it, trying to just... Uh, effectively come across the back of the neck and then he's trying to get that left leg out but at the minute Mohamed Adam's doing all the right things by trapping that that butterfly in so he can't get that left leg out he's trying to reap the arm away there to try and create some spaces Cade to set up a, a to get this triangle 
He's trying to do, trying to finish it without getting the leg out. It's mm. going to be hard to do. You, it can be done, but you need to bring that right arm underneath. Yeah. And like on the other side of the neck and try and tighten it in. But it's, it's from this position, it's quite hard to, to get that, that tap anyway. You're much calmer second round as it comes to the close here with the clacker. I'm surprised not seeing Mohammed try and push with that left shoulder and drive the leg over. over. Yeah. yeah. But that was a good round. So you know, I'm going to say a round a piece at the minute for for this fight. Mohammed Adam taking that first round and K Smith taking the second with effective work on the ground. Yeah, and all grappling affair as we uh, came out expecting here between the two. Mohammed is a uh, an ADCC medalist. As well as Cade is uh, also an, a, a well accoladed grappler around the UK scene. Yeah, both both won titles in their young age already. Plenty, plenty more to come. Like I say, great corner there with the Mullen brothers. Yeah, explained the, the little bit of a stalemate we had in the second round there with the uh, the, the pedigree that, that both uh, ha have on offer here. So round three, Our last, final. <laughs> last two minutes of this mm -hmm. fight, and let's see where this is going to go and who's going to take it. Will there be a finish? Because they both they both threatened for finishes, mm -hmm. but neither have actually. Go. Like I say, they've not got close to the finish yet, but they both threatened. And let, let, let us know that they've, they've got submissions in their tank. Like Cade is willing to stand and trade a little bit more than Mohammed. Yeah, Mohammed sort of stepping in. Just watch out the. Uh, I think Mohammed just kind of landed a clean short left lead hook there. Mohammed really wanting that takedown. You can see the way he's sort of lining himself up, but goes for that reverse on the takedown. But he's doing a great job, Mohammed here. Mohammed back on top. We've seen it in the last round where the threatening, threatening. Uh, submissions were coming from the bottom. Stand up, stand up, stand up. It's exactly where he wants to be. Uh, Mohamed Adam needs to have Cade on his back here. But Cade is uh, still yeah. working off his back here, and that's what scores. He, 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 I mean, he had his neck in there, but he's, he's absolutely fine with that, where he sat in the, the full guard. He was, no, he was no danger of being caught with anything. Where he has got a bit of danger now is where he's, posh, where he's, he's half posturing up, and now you've got a, a bit of wrist control there from, from Cade Smith. For Cade looking to, to control a bit of wrist and try and get potentially something, but Mohammed's really at the minute just holding on, uh, holding on here, and this is, you know, the rule set. You need to be really attacking some missions or trying to pass. Yeah, Cade trying with all his might to transition and get out of this position, but Adam just happy to uh, to sit in, in the full guard here. And that's an open full guard as well, so he could try and, and progress past it. So the, the corner is shouting for him just to, just to stay there. Now, I wouldn't agree with that because if he's not doing anything with it, which he's not really done at the minute, and you've got the guy in the bottom attacking constantly, it's very hard to judge. And that's the end of the round, the end of the fight there. Have to see how the judges uh, d decided that one. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's tough because obviously there's no, no strikes involved on the ground whatsoever. It's very, very hard because it's very hard to stay busy. But yeah. when you're on top, I'd like to see a little bit more on the on the transition and on the attacking to get at least past yeah. the full guard, uh, which which there it wasn't really. So it, well, we're going to find out now. I mean, we're going to the rendering this decision and we're going to find out where which way that's going to go. But I do think. I'd give uh, K Smith a lot more press for, for the amount of uh, attempts he gave from the bottom. Yeah. A very high level contest here between our two youngsters. And we'll throw it into the cage now for our official decision with Safe Khan. Fighters to the centre of the cage, please. Fighters to the centre of the cage. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause for these great athletes who showed us some great skills this evening. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard four rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Your winner in the blue corner, Mohammed Adam. Please show your appreciation for Cade Smith. So there we have it, the winner. Obviously, the, uh, the takedown scored a lot more there. So Mohammed Adam taking that victory. 
And unlucky for Kay Smith there, who, who was active throughout. Well, that's a win in the column for Mohamed Adam. And we're back very soon with William Grant taking on Lucas Evans.